Hey everyone, my name is Mars, like the planet, and this is Housewarming. Last week I got a brand new tattoo, so that means it's time for an updated tattoo tour. So if you are watching this video because you are interested in getting tattoos or you're worried about placement and the pain, I will say that most of my tattoos, except one, did not really hurt. I think that yes, tattoos are uncomfortable. No, I have not set for a six hour long tattoo, but yes, tattoos are comfortable. Are they painful? No, not really. I think it also depends on the type of needle that your tattoo artist is using. It obviously depends on the placement and it obviously is also going to depend on your pain tolerance. But like I always say, if you are committed to getting a tattoo, if you are going to pay for it, if you are going to search out an artist and go to the shop and sit on the table to get a tattoo, you're already in the mindset to get one. You just have to get through it. They always say that pain is beauty. And like I said, I want this piece on my body. So I'm going to go through the uncomfortableness to get through it. If you are getting your first tattoo, I would decide to go with something smaller just to make sure that you are comfortable with the pain and maybe you only have to go through that pain for about an hour or two hours I would not really commit to a huge back piece or a huge thigh piece or a sleeve or something like that that's going to take hours and hours and hours on end just because you are maybe brand new to the idea but last week I got a brand new tattoo on my knee this was the first time of me getting a tattoo around my knee I thought it was a pretty cool idea I got this quote tattoo for my grandmother who passed away last year from Alzheimer's I miss her dearly I love her so much but she always told me life is a life worth living so live it just live it and she sung this all the time to the point where we would honestly make fun of her for singing it so much she just hummed it all the time and honestly it is the one phrase I remember her saying over and over and over again now I've never gotten a quote on my body before so I knew the risk going into it I know we see those hilarious memes about people getting you know uh, no regrets tattooed on their body. You know, I know that people can obviously have tattoos that are misspelled and I knew the risk going into it. And yes, one of my words on my leg is kind of not misspelled, but it just looks a little wonky. So just to say, I am not upset at the artist at all. I think that you are never going to get a perfect tattoo. You are never gonna get something that's gonna look just like it is when it's printed out. And I think that's just the natural process of getting a tattoo and going to a tattoo artist. They are going to use their craftsmanship to give you the best tattoo possible. Now, are people going to mess up? Yes, because they're human. And I'm perfectly okay with that. I know that no tattoo I'm going to get is going to be perfect. That is just the risk that you run with putting something permanent on your body. But if you look at my tattoo, it says life is a life worth living. So live it, just live it. And in the J and just the tail of the J is missing. I think that because of the stencil the artist was using, he just didn't put it on there. And I don't think he actually noticed, but it's perfectly fine. Honestly, I could go back in, of course, and get it retouched up, but it's so small and it's so minuscule that the amount of time it's going to take him to set up is honestly going to be longer than the amount of time it's going to get for me to like finish the tattoo or fix the tattoo and I'm perfectly okay with it. Obviously, if you are not happy with your tattoo, you can always go back to get it touched up or go to a different artist, but personally, I'm okay with it. The other thing that is wrong with this tattoo is that one of the L's, the last live, the L and live, is a little wonky. It looks like a Y almost, but I think that's just because of the font that I chose. And like I said, I'm perfectly okay with it. I just do want to point out that I do know that my tattoo is a little messed up, but that's just the risk that you run. Um, I do love this tattoo. I was really worried about the pain level of getting a tattoo around my knee and I thought that this was a cool way to do a quote I actually saw this on Pinterest one time and I don't think that it's a brand new idea but I do think it's a like a really cool take on doing a quote on your body to do it around your knee um like I said I was very worried about the pain level of getting a tattoo on my knee but it really did not hurt at all I think it was probably a one out of five five being like unbearable and zero being like I didn't feel it at all it was probably a one honestly and I do think that was because of the type of needle that the tattoo artists use. I think, I don't know anything about tattooing or the needles or anything, but it was very, very quiet. And it just, I just did not feel it at all. I think it was not because of the pain. Like I said, it was just because the needle was so shallow. So it honestly just felt like a very strong vibration on my knee. Now, because it was around my knee, my knee did jerk a little bit sometimes, but it wasn't out of pain. It was just like a reflex, if that makes sense. But yeah, that is my brand new tattoo. It is still healing. You can kind of see that it's still starting to peel a little bit. Um, So yeah, I really, really love this tattoo. I could
could not like I love it enough like I every time I look at it I'm going to think of my grandmother now but let's start back at the beginning and go through chronological order and we're going to talk about the very first tattoo that I ever got so the first tattoo that I ever got was this fleur-de-lis on my wrist if you don't know a fleur-de-lis is basically a symbol that kind of first represented France but then because Louisiana where I'm from has such French like culture it started to become a symbol for Louisiana it is the symbol for the Saints the New Orleans Saints football team so it is just a symbol that is really really ingrained into the culture of Louisiana and more specifically from New Orleans where I am from. Now I do not live there anymore so it is always like a piece of home is with me. Also this tattoo is um, a tattoo that I share with my mom and my sister. We all have the exact same two same tattoo on our wrist. I got this for my 18th birthday so like I said I was very young so this tattoo is pretty old. This tattoo is um, about 10 years old now so you can definitely see the way a brand new tattoo looks on my knee and how this tattoo looks almost 10 years later and I really like how it is hold up has held up obviously it's a bit faded a little bit the lines are a little blurry but you can definitely tell what it is um I really do love this tattoo I do think for a first tattoo on my wrist um it was a little bit of a risk a little bit but honestly it did not really hurt like I don't know if I I don't want to keep saying oh it didn't hurt it didn't hurt but yes it was uncomfortable but it just wasn't as bad as I thought like I did not feel like I was wincing or jerking away or felt like I was gonna cry or anything um but yeah I totally love this tattoo um I think it was it's one of my smallest tattoos um like I said because it was my first and I just really love the symbolism um of representing my home and as well as my mom and my sister both having the same tattoo so you will notice that all of my tattoos have a very specific meaning to me and that is just what I like to do with my tattoos um that is not something that I'm going to judge somebody for if you just see something cool and you want it on your body you are more than welcome to tattoo it on your body if you just like it if you just think it's cool if it's something that's your favorite I just personally like to have deeper meanings for my tattoos I have designed all of my tattoos except one on my thigh but I have designed all of my tattoos so they just really hold a very deep meaning to me. The next tattoo I got after my Fleur de Lis was the tattoo on my thigh. You can see it right here but it is a birdcage. So the birdcage is surrounded by a couple of types of flowers. Um, at the top are some orchids. Now these orchids are something that represent my grandparents. My grandfather always gave my grandmother orchids so that is represented in them and then at the bottom I have some iris so irises surround my family home we've had them ever since I moved into that house and it just kind of represents like my grandparents and my family and the birdcage is just a symbol of my home now if you will notice and start to look at it this tattoo is wrong this tattoo is not right it is not uh, right because the birdcage is missing an entire back of the birdcage I did not notice this when I first got it but if you really look at it you can notice that essentially this birdcage is only half closed there are no bars on the back of the birdcage and like I said it's perfectly fine it's the hand of the artist I understand why he did it this way probably because the lines were going to be so so thick you wouldn't even be able to notice it was a birdcage but I'm perfectly fine with it and I'm perfectly fine with the mistake obviously I could go back and get it fixed but I'm okay with it so this birdcage just represents my home it represents a place where you know a bird lives but a cage is not a natural place to keep a bird meaning that I can't stay at home forever. I can't be with my family forever. Yes, I can be with them in spirit, but I can't physically be at home. I think when we get to that age, we're ready to get out, we're ready to do our own things. And, and people always look at this tattoo and they're like, where's the bird? And I'm just like, I'm the bird. I'm the bird that has left the cage. Now the door is always open, meaning I can always come back home. But obviously at the end of the day, it's still a cage. And yes, my family's there, but you understand what I'm saying. Once you get to that age, you're ready to get out and do your own thing and stuff like that. So I really do love this thigh tattoo. Once again, the pain was very minimal because it is on like a meatier area. It's on a musclier area, a musclier? I don't think that's a word. It's on an area with more fat, more muscle. So it really did not hurt that much. The next tattoo that I got after my thigh tattoo is the one on my shoulder blade. You can't really see it. So I'll pull my shirt down a little bit, but I will have close-ups of this one. But this one is on my shoulder blade. And honestly, this was the most painful tattoo that I have ever gotten. It is of three roses and honestly, I will never get a tattoo there ever again. Um, basically, because it hurts so much is because it's on a thinner area. There's not a lot of skin up here. There's not a lot of muscle and it's on bone, on my collarbone. But yeah, this tattoo hurt so, so much. My legs were shaking. It was just 
an unbearable experience almost. I would rate this maybe a four, four and a half. It was just really painful because he did put a lot of detail in it. Now this tattoo is coming up of almost being 10 years old now. So a lot of the detail has kind of faded away, but I really don't mind that. Like I said, I do love this tattoo. This tattoo really represents my accomplishments when you have a graduation or a recital or something that is congratulatory. People always give you flowers. You know, people are known to throw flowers at people. So this is kind of representing like giving myself my flowers, giving myself my congratulations for all of the things that I have accomplished. And there are three because it represents the past, present, and future. I know it's a little cheesy, but yes, I did put that much thought into this tattoo. I don't just want to get, you know, some flowers on my shoulder. After this tattoo, I got the tattoo on my thigh. So this tattoo on my thigh right here is of a woman. It is a black woman, and it is actually the only tattoo that I had, I did not design myself. This artist, uh, her name is Sarah Golish. She is a very famous artist, and she does a lot of portraits of black women and all of her artwork in this series kind of looks the exact same but I really wanted a tattoo to represent my black culture I am a black woman I am a proud black woman I love being black I love being african-american I love all the things that come with our culture and I'm not going to be ashamed of that and I um am just so so happy with the tattoo this is one of my favorite tattoos that I have ever had now this tattoo I have seen done on a couple of other people before it is a very famous uh portrait and I have seen people also get Sarah Golish's work tattooed on them but I picked this one just because I love her afro. I love the pick in her hair. I just love, love, love this tattoo. So I did search out an artist that had already done this type of style before, who had already done Sarah Golish's work before, because I really wanted it to be done nicely. I did not want to get it and be like, oh, that kind of looks like it. I know we've seen those pictures of people who get face tattoos, who get portrait tattoos that look kind of okay. I really paid top dollar for this tattoo because I wanted it done right. And it was done phenomenally. I love this tattoo. I absolutely love it. I will say that the pain was probably like a three. Obviously it was on my th my thigh, so it did not hurt that much. But when he got to my inner thigh and he started using those tiny needles to get like the real detail in like the pick. And at the bottom, you can see there are some circles. Um, That's when it kind of started to hurt. And I was like, Ugh, it's getting a little, okay, all right. But you know, I kind of bared through it. This was also my longest tattoo. This tattoo took three hours, I think. And my, like, I will say that, Honestly, the pain of a tattoo is, you know, it's okay. But the aftermath, oh my gosh, it felt like I had gotten like run over by a truck on this leg. So sore the next few days after I had gotten this tattoo, I was like, oh my gosh, this hurt more than a tattoo. I could barely move. And I also had dogs at the time. So they kept jumping on my legs and I had to like push them off. I was like, please, I'm not trying to be mean, but like this hurts so bad. But yeah, this tattoo healed beautifully. I just love, love, love this tattoo. I cannot say enough th good things about it. And I really think that's just due to picking a really good artist. I love the person that did this tattoo for me and I just think it came out beautifully. The next tattoo I got was this one right here on my forearm. Now I will say a little bit of a trigger warning. This tattoo does cover my self-harm scars. So I did self-harm uh, when I was younger and I had a huge scar on my arm from it and I honestly decided to get this moon tattoo to cover it up. Now I love the moon. I'm a person that's a look at the moon type girl. I love just, I don't know, something about the moon. It's either you love it or you don't think about it. I love the moon and I really wanted to pick something to cover this tattoo just to kind of symbolize the love I have for the moon should be the love that I have for my body. Now, stay with me for a second. But you know, the moon to me is a heavenly body. It is something that is up there that is looking down on us that people all at that I'm just in love with. I'm just like, oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. I love the moon. Why don't I feel that way about my own body? Why am I harming myself? Why can I look up at the moon and be in awe of it, but I'm not in awe of my own body? So I just wanted to get something because A, I love the moon and also too, I wanted to think, you know, there's a heavenly body up there. This is a heavenly body. I need to protect it. I need to not harm it. So I got this tattoo to cover it. I love kind of the like uh, stippled look that the tattoo artist did. And I really love, it's kind of like a vintage -y feel. I did design this, this tattoo myself. I love all the stars that are around it in the clouds. I'm really, really happy with this tattoo. As you can see, all of the tattoos on my arm are on one arm because I am trying to get a sleeve at some point. I'm not in a rush just because I don't know what future me is going to want. But yeah, I am kind of working on a sleeve a little bit. So I'll have to update you guys when I add to it. Also, this tattoo, once again, was not very painful because there is some muscle right here. It really did not hurt that much. 
much. I would say it was probably about a three. The next tattoo I got and the last one that I will be showing you guys today is a one for my dad. My dad passed away two years ago from cancer and I love him. I miss him so, so much. So I got a tattoo to honor him. This tattoo is of a dragster race car and some sunflowers. This tattoo just really symbolizes who he was. So my dad loved drag racing. He loved cars. He loved being around them. He loved going to drag race strips and just watching the cars and stuff like that. And that was one of the last things that we did the week before he died was watch drag racing. So I knew I had to get a dragster just to honor him. So I got these sunflowers around the dragster because a sunflower actually is the flower that represents the zodiac sign Leo. And my dad was a Leo through and through. Um, so yeah, I got these sunflowers around it. The only thing that I really don't like about this tattoo, although I love the size and the placement, it is a little dark. I did design it myself, but I, I don't know. I wish there was some shading or maybe some color would have helped. I don't have any color tattoos, but I do think maybe something could have been done to make it kind of pop out more. It's a little hard to read from far away. Obviously you can see the sunflowers but the race car kind of gets lost a little bit which I'm, I'm okay with but that was the only critique I had and I and I'm not sure if that's the tattooer's fault or my fault I'm not sure because I did design it myself but like I said I still love it I, every time I look down at it I think of my dad and I just miss him so so much but yeah those are all of my tattoos hey guys editing me here so I completely forgot about an entire tattoo I forgot about this tattoo right here on my forearm so I'm gonna cut to footage from me last year explaining this tattoo in my 2022 tattoo tour so I hope it makes sense. Yeah, I love this tattoo just as much as the next, but yeah, I just completely forgot about it. Okay. <laughs> but I do have a tattoo right here. This is actually a matching tattoo. Me and my sister have the exact same tattoo. This is a tattoo for my grandfather. He called us babe. And so that's why we got this. This is kind of reminiscent of those vintage sailor mom tattoos. So I designed this myself as well. I picked the lettering out just because I wanted a nice vintage lettering and these are magnolia flowers. I think that it came out really, really nicely. Um, I was a little hesitant about the shading of the heart. I didn't want it to be too dark or too light, but I do think that it healed beautifully. I love the magnolias. They also just represent the magnolia tree that was outside of my grandfather's home and it is also the state flower of Louisiana. But I love how this tattoo came out and it is always just a great Great representation of the close bond that I have with my grandfather. So I hope that you enjoyed seeing all of my tattoos and got some inspiration. If you have any questions or you want to know the artist, I am located in Louisiana. So all of my tattoo artists are in the Baton Rouge, Lafayette, New Orleans area. So if you're interested in knowing who did what, I can always give you their contact information down below if you're interested. But yeah, that does it for today's video. I post new videos every single Wednesday. So I will see you guys next week. Bye.